Hi everyone, I'm Erica Metzger and I'm going to show you how to do this neat little trick in Photoshop today called Tilt Shift. The Tilt Shift trick makes photos look miniature, kind of like a small little toy setup. Um, photos that you're going to want to use are more bird's eye view, um, not completely aerial because you want some dimension into your photo. Um, I'm going to be using this photo that I took in Seattle off the Space Needle. And when we're done, it's going to look like this. So let's get started. Once you bring your image into Photoshop, um, your layer is going to be a locked background layer. I like to keep that background layer so if I make a mistake, I can always go back to that layer and start over. So I'm going to press Ctrl and J to make a copy of that layer. And this is a layer I'm going to be working on. Um, we're going to be using smart filters on this layer. So I'm going to convert this layer to a smart object by right clicking and going over to convert to smart object. Our first filter here is reduce noise. That we're going to be putting on, putting on here. So we're going to go up to filter, down to noise, and reduce noise. Here we have a little window. We're going to have the strength to 10. Preserve details and reduce color noise are going to be staying at 0. And then we have sharpen detail at 75%. Then we can click OK. And our next filter will be the median filter. So go up to filter again, down to noise, and click median. I'm going to keep this radius around 1. doesn't do much, but it does, it does something. <laughs> and um, many of these filters you might have to adjust to make it look how you want it, because every picture is different and will need different adjustments. Okay, our last filter is our Smart Sharpen. So we're going to go up to Filter, Tune to Sharpen, and click Smart Sharpen. I have the amount set to 200, and the radius at 1.0, Reduce Noise stays at 0, and Remove goes to Gaussian Blur. Then you can click OK. Um... Now that we're done with our filters, we can make a vibrance layer on top of this layer. So you could go to your adjustments right here and click this triangle, or you could go to layer, um, new adjustment, new adjustment layer, and click vibrance. Both things will bring you to the same spot. I'm going to click over here, and I have both my vibrance and saturation layer. I'm going to set them to 30. Why don't I just click here? So both of them are set to 30. You're welcome to experiment with that, but I like mine where they are. Um, now we are going to go back to our object layer. We'll set that. We'll go back to our object or our, our, our smart layer and go up to filter again and click blur gallery then we can tick click tilt shift um this brings up i uh, the blur gallery window this pin here in the center is our point of focus so you can drag your point of focus wherever you feel it should be where you want the most focus I'm going to drag mine between these two buildings, I think. Right about there. And let's see, these two solid lines are your midpoints. So you can drag them up and down till you have it the way you want it to look. You can see what it does here. I'm going to keep mine fairly around where they are. I'm going to drag this one down a little bit. And this one I'm going to drag 
up to this building here. Okay, these dotted lines here, you can drag them up or down to where you feel they should be. That's the point where your blur is. Um, I'm going to keep mine about where they are. Then over here, we're going to turn on symmetric distortion. And you can fool around with the blur and distortion here until you get the look you want. This blur and distortion. Um, I like my blur at 15 and my distortion to about 20. So I'm going to do that. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and click OK up here. My completed image looks like this. And obviously that's different. I cropped mine because I felt the need to do that. So um, I cropped it a little bit. Maybe to about there. And about there. So that's basically it. I hope yours turns out pretty cool. Thank you for watching.